How to break a horse. In general, a horse's loyalty greatly depends on the type of training or breaking that it receives. Horses that are broken to follow their leader out of respect are much more enjoyable than those that follow out of fear. Follow these tips to build a bond of trust with your horse as you break it. Getting started. Gain the trust of your horse. Having a personal relationship with your horse is imperative in building trust with it, leading to training later on. Spend time with your horse every day, starting with just being near it and grooming it. Grooming helps connect you with the horse and forms a bond between the two of you. Work around your horse in the pasture, giving it time to build confidence in you. Talk to your horse and be a solid, calm leader for it. Horses are prey animals, so they are always on high alert. They are aware of all changes and will be startled by sudden movement. If you have a foal or horse younger than four or five years old, don't worry about riding and focus on building trust and confidence through simple leading and grooming. You should spend a significant amount of time gaining the horse's trust before starting to train it. Do this even if the horse is already broken, but it is new to you. Practice safety around your horse. Horses are powerful animals that can cause a lot of damage. While training your horse, you want to make sure you are safe. Familiarize yourself with a horse's field of visions and then stay where your horse can see you most of the time. Horses can't see directly in front of or directly behind them. If you are going over, right behind, or right in front of it, keep a hand on your horse so it can track you. The best place to stand is on the horse's side, angle towards its head where it can easily see and hear you. Talk to your horse when you are out of its eyesight. This helps your horse know where you are. Don't start off walking into the horse's blind spots. Build confidence where it can see you. First, only kneel or squat by the horse if you are sure it is used to the task you are performing. Take it one step at a time. Breaking a new horse is a slow process. You have to make each step habit before moving to the next step. When training, each new concept you introduce needs to build off what you have just taught your horse. Remember, you want the horse to always be sure of the correct response so it will respond confidently. Never give up. Some steps may be easier than others for your horse. Training is a big commitment. End each lesson on a success. Even if it's just a little bit of progress, like the horse letting you get the halter near its face, always end on a good note. Never give up. Some steps may be easier than others for your horse. Training is a big commitment. End each lesson on a success. Even if it's just a little bit of progress, like the horse letting you get the halter near its face, always end on a good note. Never get angry at the horse. Never scream at the horse, hit it, throw things, or act aggressively. This will scare the horse and break any trust you have built. Always speak quietly and calmly to your horse. If the horse disobeys you, correct it in a calm manner without showing aggression. It is okay to lightly tap the shoulder or buttocks with a rope to correct disrespect, but all training failures are nothing but a sign that you have not truly prepared your horse for the task. You may have to give your horse firm reinforcement of tasks if you have lost some control. Do backing up exercises to reassert your dominance without using violent means. If the horse disobeys you, correct it in a calm manner without showing aggression. It is okay to lightly tap the shoulder or buttocks with a rope to correct disrespect, but all training failures are nothing but a sign that you have not truly prepared your horse for the task. You may have to give your horse firm reinforcement of tasks if you have lost some control. Do backing up exercises to reassert your dominance without using violent means. Reward the horse for successes. As a prey animal, they are searching for a release of pressure. Taking a few steps back or removing a scary piece of equipment shows the horse it doesn't need to fight to get away. It will respond well even more quickly the next time to obtain its release. Negative reinforcement would be a continuation of pressure or an escalation of pressure. X. You try to teach the horse to walk with you on a lead rope. You take a step, but it will not follow. You take another step, but it still does not come. Now you would gently pull on the rope, increasing pressure until it takes a step. Then, you immediately release the pressure. Soon it learns to walk for a little pressure to avoid more pressure and the horse eventually moves when you walk. 